Hi, my name is Michael Novello from visualpix.com. Welcome to 5 Minutes Photoshop. Here I present you fast and effective Photoshop effects and techniques in 5 minutes or less. Today I want to show you how you can do this here, the, this version of Modern Warfare, Warfare. And every time I'm doing this I'm getting a little bit of a different result. And in this case this is my first one, this is my second one, and now we are doing another one. So I have here a new file with the black background and I'm creating a new layer. And on this new layer I'm going with the path tool, I'm drawing a straight line, just from one, one end to the other, like this. And then I'm going to adjust my brushes. You can adjust your brushes before or, the, or after that, doesn't matter. I'm going with five pixel size and a soft brush and a white color. And then I'm going back to my path tool and click with the right mouse button on the path and I say stroke path. And be sure that simulate pressure is checked and click OK. Then we can delete the path. Just click the right mouse button and go to delete path. And now we have this straight line here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this immediately by control J and I'm going to hide my original layer. And then I'm going to filter, liquify. And then I want to have uh, show backdrop and I want layer zero so that I don't have um, a transparency in there and I can really see what I'm doing here and I'm going to move these line here around just up and down up and down in the middle you can do it a little bit stronger but on the ends you should be with a and with a really low uh, amplitude of a wave, something like that. Maybe here is here it is too strong, and yeah, let's go with something like that. It's looking good. And press OK. <coughs> By the way, the settings for my brush tools here are. 100 in size, pressure 100%, 100 and density about 50. And then I click OK. And now I have my first line and then I'm going to copy that line here with Ctrl J and with Ctrl T I'm going to rotate this by holding the Shift key 180 degrees so that we have a second line here like that. And maybe we can go into the filter liquify and we can adjust it a little bit just here because it's uh, overlapping too much. And yeah, this should be, this should be good here. Okay, now we have something like that. And these steps I'm going to repeat two times. For this I'm going to speed up the tutorial. Now we have these small lines here on this yeah, the small lines and then I'm going to copy this layer a last time and now I want to have big spikes here. For this I'm going again I copy the layer and I'm going again into the liquify tool here and I'm going to bring this the spikes way out of the, the middle in the here in the center of the image you can go really crazy and like that maybe like this like this maybe this much more and here as well 
and the rest of the line just fill out the gaps where it's there's n yeah just fill out like this okay now we have our big spikes click OK and <coughs> now I'm going to merge these layers together I am going to select all of these layers and click Control E and now we have one layer now we are going to make three copies of this layer by hitting Control J or two copies Control J, Control J, and we're going to hide the two layers here. And on this layer, I'm going to the blending tools, uh, blending options. And at first, I'm going with an inner glow. And I want to have here an opacity of about 50% and the color of green and click OK and the size of about 5 pixels let's go with 5 OK next one is I want to have a gradient overlay and again blend mode is here in this case normal opacity 100% and I want to have a really simple gradient I'm going with a yellowish or a yellow greenish greenish yellow or whatever like that <coughs> and on this side with a really yeah um, a yellowish green and click OK something like that and this should be okay here and then I want to have an outer glow as well the outer glow I'm going to set the blend mode to normal and the opacity to about 60 or 70 percent and the color is a green and size in this case we are going really high something like 100 pixels or so and click OK and this is our first layer and then I'm going to the second layer and I'm going to make it visible and this time I want to have a color overlay we're going with uh, double click on you want the color overlay you want to have a green color click OK and OK normal blend mode and now we are going to filter blur Gaussian blur and we go with about four pixels or something like that four to five pixels and click OK and on our last copy our first copy i'm going to add the color overlay as well color overlay and choose a green color a real green like that and click ok and now i'm going to filter blur motion blur and i'm going with about now let's go with about 340 or something like that like this and click OK and then we're going to filter blur Gaussian blur and again with about four to six pixels we're going to blur this again and then again filter blur motion blur and this time we are going with a 
about 200 pixels or so. Okay. And the next step is we are going to add here a new layer and we're going to filter render clouds. And then I'm setting the blend mode to color dodge and I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit, like about 50% or so. And then I'm going to copy there the, this cloud layer and this time I'm going with about 10% or so. And there we are. This is another version of Modern Warfare. Now we have this version, this version and this version. These three versions you get by just doing another blurring method or blur it more out or um, yeah, just play with the, the blur of the last layer and you can play with the paths or the liquify tool. You can make this completely out of a path and you don't have to use the liquify tool. Um, I've used here a really strong blur. You can uh, try to blur this here a little bit more out. We can go into filter again and uh, do another motion blur. In this case, we can go with uh, blur like this. Maybe it's yeah, it's looking totally different then, as you can see. Just play around with the blur and you get different results. You can, and even you can play around with the liquefied tool as well. So reproduce it, have fun with it. Bye. Thank you for watching my videos. Um, if you like my videos, you can subscribe to my channel right here in the middle. And my last two videos you can find here and here. And if you really like my videos, you can support me on patreon.com. Here's the link. And thanks again. And see you next time. Bye.